Hey, all right, everybody, and welcome back to Stylish Grease Monkey. My name is Chris. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I can't contain my excitement any longer because something arrived in the mail that I've been waiting for. So this video is all about the Brave Star Selvage Denim. 2017, the Cone Mills in Greensboro, North Carolina had closed down, but there are a lot of remaining cone denim left. And so I think, much like myself, I'm discovering that American-made denim is now the thing. Uh, so I started looking into it. I actually like Japanese denim as well. As you can tell, I've been in a search for it but Japanese selvage is so expensive. The cheapest one I could find online is like, I don't know, use $200. And I didn't want to dump that much money if I'm beginning to just kind of dive into selvage jeans. I do own a pair of Uniqlo selvage that I bought for about 40 bucks a while back. I am a military man, so most of my time is wearing my uniform, so I don't get to wear and wear out my jeans, my shoes, my boots, whatever have you. Lately, I'm transitioning from military to civilian here pretty soon, uh, and uh, I decided to get into selvage jeans. So I decided to purchase the very first jeans to purchase, is an, the most affordable American-made selvage denim, which is the Brave Star. All right, so this pair of jeans that I purchased, I wanted to save even more money, and I started looking on eBay, and there was a gentleman that so happened to be getting rid of the pair of jeans that, that he owned, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So if you go to their website, they have all kinds of sizes from slim tapered, all the way down to uh, regular tapered or just regular straight jeans. Uh, I wanted something like a uh, regular taper, right? A little bit of a regular fit. Like I said, my weight is 215 pounds of six foot and I have a pretty large, uh, uh, I mean, you know, fairly large legs and the skinny fit jeans, especially 100% cotton like this one is not going to fit me right. So. I took, uh, I took advantage of the savings, uh, I took advantage of the sizing that he had um, posted on eBay uh, and measured what I have to make sure it fits and it arrived and I tried it on and I'm going to tell you what, it fits very well. So let me just kind of show you a little bit. So starting from the front, you'll see of course it's button flies, you see the button flies have designs on it and this is the, that's the design the Brave Star have on, on, their, on their button flies. If you look at the pockets, a small pocket here has a detail uh, of the selvage, the red, the red lining there. And then, of course, it's standard uh, buttons right here, the rivets. If you go inside, you'll see that there's the Brave Star patch and uh, handcrafted Los Angeles, size 34. Uh, and of course, the stitching is, uh, you can see here, it's chain stitching, very nice and very sturdy. Um, if you look in here on the left side of the of the waist side inside the waist of the jeans there's the patch that tells you this is the uh, cone denim from Greensboro North Carolina which is I tell you iconic in itself and then of course you'll see that there's an American flag made in the USA proudly made in the USA and thank you for those of you that do what you do going to the back of the jeans real quick you'll see a uh, patch a uh, leather patch there, Brave Star, handcrafted Los Angeles, amazing. I think they'll create its own character as it fades. If you go to the right pocket, back pocket, you'll see a star. That is the standard um, thing that you'll see on Brave Star jeans, is that star representing the United States. Going back to the inside real quick, I just want to show you this little tag right here on the uh, pocket, because it has directions on how you should use this, and I will follow those directions. So. Brave Star Selvage, the regular taper, BS slash 105, 100% cotton. For best results, wear for six months, dry clean or cold wash, air dry, American made, US made fabric. So as far as I know from my research, the materials used on this pair of jeans are all made in the United States. From Kentucky and of course the denim from um, leftover from the cone mills of, of Greensboro, North Carolina. 
So that is the makeup of the jeans. Lovely, very lovely. This would be perfect with my um, American-made boots like the Iron Rangers and of course the Thorgood boots. So I will fashion that to you later on, but for now I just want to focus on the these pair of jeans right here. Very nice indigo denim, which will obviously um, fade very nicely as I wear it, you know. Uh, I'll have a lot of chance to wear it here soon because like I said, I'll be out of my uniform and we'll be wearing this a lot more than before. You'll notice that the bottom of the jeans is not finished, is not hemmed. Uh, the gentleman that owned it was going to hem it, get it hemmed from in the factory. And you know I'm overseas right now, but I do have skills and I know how to hem. So I'm just gonna hem this to the best of my ability to make sure it looks good. And then when I get back to the United States, then I'll take it to the factory and get it, you know, uh, change stitched for like 15 bucks, which is awesome. So I'm gonna leave the length of it. So a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of the measurements and here we go. Okay, so in regards to sizing uh, and uh, I did not buy the jeans if I didn't know what the actual sizing is and measurements, but I wanted to show you. So I am a size 34 in the waist. <clears throat> Something like this, a salvage jeans, you don't wash often, so it doesn't, it stretches and 34 fits me correctly. I mean, just right. Uh, and this actually um, measures a little bit bigger. So if you see right here that the waist is actually across one side. 18 inches, which is, it comes down to 36 really, the jeans, but it's good because now it kind of fits me okay, right? I can still fit two fingers in there and then wear my belt and it'll be nice. So uh, front rise, top to bottom here real quick is 12 inches. And then the outside seam, which I don't know, I, I, I cannot out focus this, but I will just stretch it back here and show it to you. Outside is about 42 and a half. And then inside seam is 33. The inside seam is 33, right? And it fits me right. Like I said, I am a 34, 32, uh, but this fits me perfectly. Uh, with the, with one or two folds, it'll be perfect. The upper leg portion of this jeans, remember this is a regular taper, is 11 inches. Right by the knee, it's nine inches. And of course, the leg opening in the bottom was advertised at six and three quarters of an inch. And this is almost seven, but it's okay, right? That is that is what the uh, the advertised uh, size of the jeans. If you go to the website, the weight of this uh, denim is 15 ounces, 15 ounce denim, which will be perfect for a summer. You know, not too hot probably, but summer use. Perfect for summer. You know, 13 to 15 ounces, perfect for summer. So I cannot wait to use it. And of course, this is the most affordable selvage jeans in the market. Now, do I recommend this jeans for, for you to buy? At the end of the day, you make your own decision, but I think I'd, I'd absolutely recommend, and I will probably look into the heavier um, material, like the 20 ounces uh, pair of jeans from Selvage, which is, I think, about $198, which is still a steal considering that this is salvage, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all I have for you today. And I hope you enjoyed my enjoyment of this video because I was very excited when we started. Again, thank you for your support. And for those of you that are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I will talk to you again later.